Hello so students and welcome to your mathematics class. Today we'll be looking at approximations. Under approximations we'll be covering rounding off and standard form. Standard form is also known as scientific notation. So these two terms can be used interchangeably. Now, what is to approximate? What does the term approximate mean? Well, the term approximate means to estimate fairly accurate meaning in mathematics or under this topic we'll be learning about ways in which we can write values which are fairly accurate let's say we had a value 3.789 meters and we were required to approximate it it would be approximated to 3.8 meters or 4 meters these are the two values are dependent on the degree of accuracy we've been told to reach so let's look at how we can round off numbers and approximate them the first type of rounding off we'll be looking at is rounding off to decimal places let's say we were given a number 3.7894 and we are required to round it off to a certain specified number of decimal places Let's say we were told to round off 3.7894 to one decimal place. So what we'll do is we'll get this number 3.7894. Then we look at the accuracy we've been asked to reach, which is one. So since we've been given the accuracy one, we'll, we'll only concentrate on the second and first decimal places to help us round off this number meaning we will only focus on 3.78 then now we use a principle of uh, rounding off when rounding off we look at the following decimal place in this case and see if it is bigger than 5 and as we can see in this case 8 is bigger than 5 so we'll add one to our first decimal place and our rounded off answer will be 3.8 now let's try to look at what happens in the background using a number line the thinking of rounding off or the background of the concept of rounding off so let's say we had 3.7 which was our lower limit of this decimal place in the first decimal place our number can only remain 3.7 or become 3.8 if the number after that decimal place is bigger than 5 so there's 3.7 then 3.8 then our determining factor is our second decimal place the 5 there if the number on the second decimal place is bigger than 5, we'll add the 1 this side. Or simply, if the number is closer to 3.8, our rounded off answer will bear 3.8. If it is on this side, meaning our second decimal place will be less than 5, and hence it will be closer to 3.7. That's basically how you can think of rounding off. Now, let's look at how we can round off numbers to significant figures let's say we had the number 1.23456 we can round off this number to a specified number of significant figures let's say they didn't tell us to round off to decimal places if we count this number has got one two three four five six significant figures now let's say we have been asked to round off the same number 1.23456 to three significant figures. So what we do first is we locate the three significant figures. So the three significant figures are the one, the two, and the three. Then we add the following decimal place, which will be will be the 4 or the next significant number which is 4 so that it can help us 
to round round off. So at this stage, we just use the two rules we, we, we know. If a number is bigger than five, we add a one to the previous number, or in this case, so the previous significant figure, or simply the previous decimal place. Now, in this case, our number is less than 5, meaning the 3 here won't change to anything, won't add a 1 to it. Like if you remember, as I talked about the number line, it's closer to the, the side of 0.23 than to the side of 0 0.23, 0.24. And so our rounded off answer to 3 significant figures will be 1.23. The other part in this lesson we're looking at is approximating using standard form. If you can remember, standard form is also known as scientific notation. Under this type of approximation, we should uh, remember this format A multiplied by 10 to the power n to help us to write correct scientific notation. We should also note that 1 will be less than or equal to a, and a will be less than or equal to 10. This statement is very important, and you see how it helps. For example, in a, we are asked to write 1 million in standard form. What we'll do is we'll get our 1 million and uh, add a point zero to it so that we can move this point and then it will give us the value of our n there. So we start moving this point to our left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. As we are moving this point in the 1 million, we're simply looking for a point where our statement will be satisfied. So after we move our point six times to the left, we'll reach a point where our statement one is less than or equal to A, and A is less than or equal to 10, is satisfied. Meaning, at this point, our N will be the number of times we've moved the decimal point, which was six, one, two, three, four, five, six, then our a will be the number left at, or the number left to which our statement is satisfied so 1 million in standard form can be written as 1 multiplied by 10 to the power 6 simply standard form can be just how many times we can multiply 10 by itself to get the number we've been given now Standard form cannot only be used to express very big numbers. It's also used to express numbers that are very small. Like in B, we're asked to write the standard form of 0 0.000003. We're just going to follow the same steps, but this time we'll be moving the decimal point to the right side. And because we'll be moving the decimal point to the right side, the value of n will be negative. So let's count how many times we're going to move the decimal point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So after we move the decimal point 6 times, the condition 1 less than or equal to a and a less than or equal to 10 is satisfied. So our n will be negative 6. Then our a will be the number left after we've moved the point when our statement is satisfied. And so 0 0.000003 written in standard form is 3.0 multiplied by 10 to the power negative 6. So that's all for today's lesson. Practice.
these two types of approximation and look out for our other lesson under math where we'll be covering more under approximations.